five years ago and pre that, people would go to Leeds and Manchester um, a lot, I and mean, we still do, but be plainly because there was not, within house and techno, certainly, there wasn't a lot on here to keep people here. But now you've got loads of stuff for people to stay in Sheffield to do and for people to travel from other cities to come and see. For most people who want to go out and dance, it's great. You've got the sort of cabal, what pipes and Rafe doing, all that, that, that sort of taking care of that, you know, that kind of thing. If I was a 20 year old kid, I think Sheffield was a great place to be going out because a lot of the promoters are small and do it at a small level. So they put on progressive music or forward thinking DJs and things, which that's what people need to see. Every time I come back, there's a lot happening and there's a lot of new venues and bars and opportunities for people to put on raves. Um, there's like the smaller bits and more underground bits out of town like your Hope Works and all that that kind of would never really existed when I was growing up. I'd like to say it's probably not like anywhere else. It probably isn't like anywhere else. Um, just because of the way we had to do it. We don't have the network of clubs like a lot of um, cities of similar size have got, which is great. And so people have had to come together to make it happen. It's a city, big city, but it's like the city centre's tiny. There's not like a massive group of people into the same sort of stuff. So when you do go out or you've got a night on, there's a lot of the same people and a lot of the similar sort of like style of night. So it's like everyone is, if you go somewhere, you know everyone you know who's doing it so yeah it's a very small community that is like pretty good i quite like it like that to be honest i think it's definitely really helpful to a scene as a whole if you know the younger guys as well as your own age group or, or the older peers that we all look up to and we all know because it just keeps things fresh because it's all about new ideas and new perspectives and the more people cross pollinate with that then the better it is for everybody's music on facebook we've got this all the promoters have got this like uh, promoter sort of private group where we try and you know keep each other up to date in terms of you know what we've got coming up so we're not really stepping on each other's toes or if we are going to compete it's you know in a healthy way i think everybody's like with each other but i think if anybody needed any help everyone will pull together i do believe that we couldn't have done what we uh, have done or do without support from the community uh, people giving their time and, and uh, just coming down supporting we're really rooted in the community and if we weren't we, we couldn't do it if you represent the city and create a sort of unity then you can grow together to higher places instead of um, just be a lone barrier without roots if there was one bad guy coming in sheffield and like ripping people off no matter how much rivalry there are between the scenes and the people and the producers they'd be all like you want to be you know everyone i think uh, I'd like to think so, I'm sure it does. At the moment at Hope Works, the other DJs that I've had on have, have had a really good experience of it. People that have never, you know, not been in, people like Ben Clock, you know, really liked it. And so it, it feels like it was a pleasant surprise for these people. I think for Sheffield, because I don't know, maybe sometimes it's not perceived as vibrant as Manchester or Leeds or Liverpool for whatever bizarre reason you know that they think oh yeah no it's just gonna be another gig and then when they come and they're blown away by you know this sort of catalytic sort of energy uh, that, you know they do walk away like wow. Everyone loves Chef you know I'm telling you even if like I don't even have nothing to do with it I'll speak to a fellow DJ artist or not even that just a friend who's come here and they love it. They really like the attitude, they like the warmth, they like the parties, they like reaction in the parties. But I never hear anyone say, oh, I went to Sheffield and it was dead, or everyone right likes it. And it's weird because living here and growing up here, you just kind of just get on with it. But as I've gone away and I've come back, every time I come back, I just absolutely love it. One of the great things about this city, for me, it's a really warm crowd. You know, people give a lot. So for an artist coming to play here, I think they get quite a lot out of it because people are responsive, they're talkative, they really go for it on the dance floor. And so as a DJ coming here, the, a consistent thing that I get is a real buzz from them. Like they really enjoy the gigs. Literally every single person who's played has gone, when can we come back? When can we come back? And that's the, it's like, you know, it's something, it's something to take away, definitely. I think the community thing is definitely part of its success, but the, you know, the Sheffield mentality and humbleness of like not showing off or shouting about it is also its detriment because there's so much beautiful things that have happened here musically that no one knows about. I still think it is massively underrated. Like if you go to if you do go to places like Manchester or Leeds or like obviously London, like if you say you're from Sheffield, everyone's like, oh yeah I know Sheffield but I never really go. So like I guess 
it's it could be better. It could always be better. The records that aren't sold, that if people would hear, they would, it would lose their mind at studios and artists. Because here, if you show off or if you give it the big one, you consider it a bit of a knobhead. And that's the reality. And I'm the first one to kind of take that ethos on when I go around the world and see people giving it the big one. I just think, shut up. <laughs> Whereas in Chef, that's kind of where I learn it from, really. You imagine they think of the big names we have from here in you know both the band game and the DJ game and assume that that's how Sheffield is and that there's this you know, rich tapestry of big nights you can go to and all of that. Whereas it actually isn't the case. If you come to Sheffield, when you first get here, you've actually got to put a little bit of time in to find out where it is to be tapped, where the mine is. There's a lot of like typical house nights, but then there's like the left field stuff, like a bit more like underground, I say underground, that people can enjoy as well. There's a lot of more like hardcore, like the Cabal, the DLSs, that they take it a bit more like left field rather than your typical stuff. So if you want it, you can go and find it. Think about Manchester, Birmingham, London. We, realistically, we haven't got the same kind of shrine as them from our history of music. And there's no reason not, because if you look at the catalogue and what we've done, we have done as much, or if not more, and in my opinion, we have done much more progressive music than a lot of other places. Mm -hmm.